What's up, everybody? Today I'm just gonna be doing a quick update on uh, my Bushmaster Carbon 15. This is probably one of those videos that if you haven't seen the first one, if you really go ahead and just check it out and just kind of see where it was to what it is now. Um, main reason I'm doing this is a lot of people, you know, they want this firearm because it's nice and cheap, whatever. But they're worried about it, um, good and bad things. But like I, I haven't had a problem with it. I've been putting thousands of rounds through this bad boy. Haven't had one issue, not one hiccup, nothing. Um, but yeah. Anyways, and the main reason I'm making this video is a lot of people were questioning whether you can upgrade or not um, certain things. And as you can see, mine is fairly, fairly upgraded. Um, yeah. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. I don't remember, honestly, where I left off on the last video. So we're just going to start, you know, basically from the get-go. So, I've got my uh, bus stock on it. Magpul. Magpul MOE grip. Magpool, uh, mag, P mag, 30 rounds. Got the fiance to cut some grip tape on that. Better grippage. Um, went ahead and put the Vortex Strike Fire on there. And no, it is not an aim point. I am not a baller. Um, so, but yeah, it does do very well. And I will definitely be doing a video on this um, as soon as I can. You know what I mean? It's not one of my, it's not on my priority list. But uh, yeah, there's the green, as you can see. Don't mind the flash. It's green and red. Um, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. All right, that should be good on that. Um, I got, uh, oh yeah, you know what? This was new because I didn't have this. I had the, the little mini Bushnell. So, yeah, now I put that on there. And you guys, I know you guys saw these. But I got that almost right away. And um, I had the BCM charging handle, but I sold it because I'm currently in the process of buying uh, the Rainer Arms MB charging handle. I like that one. Um, I'm a lefty, so I like that. I also got that on right there. It's the Troy Industries, um, the uh, attachment for sling, sling adapter. Sorry, mine drew a blank. All right, now I put on this the new Magpul, the um, the grips, uh, the hand stops. I didn't put the front one on. I just like I just like this one here. Works out for me. Grab it perfectly. Um, yeah, I love these. Now, since I'm on this, go ahead and flip it. Oop. I put on this light here. Very cheap light. So, I don't suggest it to anybody. It's not a bad light, but I mean, it's whatever. I was on a budget, so I bought it. It's called a Next Torch. Um, it's not bad for $70. I mean, very bright. And it does, it does, the tr you know, it does the job. So, constant on and pressure switch. Not pressure switch, but yeah. And what I do is, so when I hold it, I grip it like this. Thumb over bore, usually. Or like that. And then I got perfect, um, and I can use it right here if I need to. So I like that. It's perfect. It's just handy for me. That's why I put it there. And I'm hopefully to upgrade to a Surefire soon. Um, but yeah, that's when I become a baller. I will definitely do that. Now, my favorite thing about this, I went ahead and put on the Troy Battle Rail. The Alpha Rail. Sorry, I think that's what it's called. The Alpha Rail. Anyways, put that on there. It took a while. I did a lot of research, okay, about putting a... Rifle length quad rail on the Carbon 15, okay? So, a lot of people said it can't be done. Cannot be done. If you do, you have to ghetto rig it. I will tell you straight up, it can be done, and there was no not one ghetto rigging thing involved. The only thing that might have been ghetto rigged is if you could see right in there, I had the guy, the gunsmith, shave down um, the gas block. I didn't get a, a low pro. I didn't want to put in the money for that. So, Because the rail itself was like 150 so he just shaved it down and polished it for me and... It works out perfectly, not like I said, not one hiccup. Now, the reason, I'm going to clarify this right now. The reason people say that you cannot put a, a free-floating quad rail on the Carbon 15 is the um, uh, barrel nut, excuse me, sorry, the barrel nut is not the standard diameter uh, like as, as usual firearms. So what you need to do is you need to purchase... A quad rail that uses the barrel nut that's on the firearm. Usually quad rails come with barrel nuts that you just attach onto it. That's just their different attachments. Now this one, it doesn't come with the barrel nut. It uses your firearm's barrel nut. That's the only thing y'all need to know. You need either, I know Troy Alpha Rail makes one, and there's one other one, um, I think it was like Samson, I think. Sorry, I don't know if that's the correct term, but I went with Troy. I love it. I got big hands, so it's nice and it feels perfect in my hands. But so just to clarify, you can put a rifle length free floating on the firearm. It just needs to use 
the barrel nut that comes on the rifle. Okay, that's that's all it is. You can't use the barrel nut that that comes with. You can't go online and buy no cheap one. You know, whatever. Like, and then it comes with the barrel nut. You have to use the barrel nut that comes with the firearm. And I think right now only two on the market that I know of, but I'm not a pro. Do have it being the Troy Alpha Rail and um, and that Samson one, Samson Evolution, I think, or Revolution, Evolution, Execution, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's the only difference. That's it. So it can be done, and it looks fantastic when it is done. And it runs like a charm. Like I said, I put more than a thousand rounds through it easily, way, way easily, more than a thousand rounds. Not one hiccup, not one problem. I fed this rifle everything. Um, just steel cartridges don't work very well. I haven't tried it, not going to. I put like three through it at once. I mean, not at once, but I fired three right after another. And it worked fine, but I don't know. I just don't want to test it. If it says don't do it, don't do it. Simple as that. Um, but yeah, so that's the rifle. And um, I'm loving it. Loving it every every second of it. It's perfect. Um, this is my rifle. Whether if people say it's a plastic thing or not, uh, Elijah. Um, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me. I love it. It's been through hell. I, you know, so it, it does it does very very well. Um, very well. Highly suggest it. And I'm pretty much done building it. The only or uh, you know adding to it. The only difference is the only thing I want to add is that charging handle. But that's like eighty dollars, which I'm not willing to spend at the moment. Um, but yeah, that and then a Surefire eventually. But that's not on my that's not on my important list at the moment. But yeah. So that is the rifle, and um, that's it, man. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, definitely, if you're interested in a first-time rifle, please don't listen to all the critics. Trust me. Just get it. You will not have a problem. Trust me. It's perfect. It's a great rifle. Excellent, especially for your first one. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching, and um, thank you. Just subscribe and like and comment. The whole usual spiel that everybody says. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye-bye.